don't let the system use you. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to go do corporate America, do that wholeheartedly. But at the same time, know who you are as a human being. You know what I mean? Like, some people understand you got to go get them corporate jobs to take care of your family and to take care of your needs and stuff like that. Don't do that. I understand. But be wise. Like, be strategic, man. Like, understand. Like, you got to have a plan. Like, like, we were talking. Like, you got to have a plan. Like, okay, I'm going to get in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get out. You know what I mean? And stick to that because money is enticing. Like, shit, if you getting $5,000 a month, like, I mean, you... Dude, it's easy to get complacent. Like, I'll be honest with you, if I got a job paying me five thousand dollars a month, like I'll be like, shit, I'm gonna stick with them for a little bit longer. And, and it's so easy, so it's like you gotta have a discipline. Like, okay, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna be disciplined about how where my money's going to, and things like that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make some connections while I'm in here, you know, I'm gonna make these business ventures, and once you get grounded, then hey, the world is yours. So. Do you think that you'll go back to company just to just to like use that to get up your capital so you can do what you really want to do actually I did I'll be honest with you like um, over the break like over on that break I live in Charlotte now and I was working in a warehouse and it was just like it got to a point where I needed I needed income like to survive like you know what I mean like you, you can't you can't like and that's all I was talking about like the system like not set up for it, so it's like, man, you gotta, you gotta go, so it's like, I was working in the warehouse down at a hub in Charlotte, and the, the reason why I did it, like I said, everything is intentional, you know what I mean, I'm trying to grow into, like, you know, me and my pops, we got uh, a company, we going into business together and stuff like that, so I did it just to get, like, insight, more insight, like, about how, like, logistics works and everything like that, and it really opened my eyes to it. Because, like, even, like, with, like, investments and stuff like that, like, we look at the numbers, we look at the P.E. ratios, we look at the dividends, we look at all that, but we don't understand, like, what's driving that company. Like, it's people in that warehouse, man, working 12-hour shifts nonstop, like, literally taking boxes, putting them on the, on the belt, you know what I'm saying, pushing them forward, like, that shit wears you out. That's, like, but they, they got, if they don't do that, like, if they don't do that, then FedEx is not going to be the FedEx that we you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it kind of gave me a, you know, open mind to like humanity and stuff like that too. So, yeah, but, yeah, like I, like I said, I, I, I did go back, you know. But, and that's why I said it's important to have capital and to have a plan and things like that. So if you are in that position when you graduate from college and, you know, you want to be in, you know, my shoes and things like that, plan ahead. Any other questions? So, what's your next step as far as like moving forward? Yeah, like honestly, like philanthropy is all I'm about. Like I love it. Like you know what I mean. If I could just get paid to just talk to different people all day every day, I would love to do that. Um, so it's like it's nothing like set in stone, but I am writing. I write every day. Like you know what I mean. Like. And it's feel real because like it's like I can express myself and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just I'm going with this this journey of life took me to answer your question. So, okay. Um I know that you said like what's gonna give you the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, like trying to get in to where you wanna be, but um, also like what life challenges do you come across that kinda trigger you and you to the point where your mind can be Um Darkest thing, um, chapter two in my book is called Dark Cloud. And really, chapter one and chapter two were like really the hardest chapters for me to write because it's personal and it's like something. Like I lost my mother when I was 14 years old to breast cancer. And, you know, at that time, like that's, that's a time where, you know, I was making a transition from middle school to high school. And, you know, to not have like the person that brought you into this world with you anymore, like it automatically produces a, a dark cloud in your life. You know what I mean? I know it did for me and it was like, I felt like I was isolated and I was on my own. So I 
was 14 years old, because to be honest with you, at 14, after I lost my mother, I didn't care about college. I didn't care about no job. I didn't care. Like, I, didn't, I really didn't care. I was kind of like cold hearted, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a sense. So, you know, when I started putting myself around people, because I didn't, and, and, and two, I wasn't exposed to people who was like going to college and stuff like that, because you got to remember, like, once the second North Carolina, there's not a lot of people, you know, who's actually trying to get into college and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? So when I switched schools my sophomore year of high school, I started seeing people who was like talking about college and everything like that. And they just opened my mind. I'm like, dang, I want to do that too. So but by the time I like got to the application process, it was too late because like my GPA was low, my discipline report was up again. So nobody wanted me, you know what I mean? So like I was really blessed to get into Winston you know what I mean, for them to give me an opportunity and, you know, to believe in me and give me a chance, like, and that's why, like, I'm, I appreciate every little thing, like, even the student investment fund, because, like, man, I ain't supposed to be here, you know what I mean? I wasn't supposed to have this opportunity, you know what I mean? So it's like, I, when I got to college, I had the mentality, like, I got to take advantage of every, every opportunity that's given to me, you know what I mean? As little as SGA and stuff like that, but it's like a, it's like a cycle, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like, that just exposed me to more and more and more and more. And like, if none of that ever happened, like, it's crazy how life works. You know what I mean? If you miss one little gap, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So, yeah. Okay, well, I guess the last question would be, what do you want people to take away from not only um, this speech, but their, their time that they have left here, like what things would you think they should really focus on? Take advantage of everything, man. Like, time is ticking. Time is ticking, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we gotta understand like the position that we're in as college students, you know what I mean? Like, we got, we exposed to so many resources here in college that a lot of people aren't exposed to. So just spend your time wisely. I'm tired of seeing people like, you know, it was, remember what, um, I can't remember the guy we met with in New York. He said something that stuck with me. Oh, he's about Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah, Herbie. He, was, he said something that stuck with me. He was like, I'm not trying to be the king of the sandbox. He was like, I don't want to be great amongst average people, nor do I want to be average amongst great people. That stuck with me. I was like, damn, because like in college, you know, you get so caught up in that college life, which is cool, embrace that. And like, yo, but you gotta understand at the same time, it's more out here than college. Like, you know what I mean? None of the stuff that I did in college is helping me right now. You know what I mean? Like the partying, the pledging, all of that. Like, none of that is helping me where I'm at right now. So it's kind of like, do that, have fun with that, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy that shit, but at the same time, like, plan, man, plan, 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 because you see so many people out here, like, that's graduated, that's working minimum wage jobs, and it's like, yo, you got a college degree? You know what I mean? Like, and it's like, if you, like, man, the, and the most important thing is networking. And the best way to network is not passing out a business card, not passing out a resume. <coughs> You know what I mean? Because you never know who you're going to come into contact with, and you never know who they know or what they can do for you. So just take advantage of the time that's in front of you. Time is of the essence, you know what I mean? Move in silence. Everybody ain't got to know your moves, man. Just stay true to you. Invest in yourself, you know what I'm saying? And believe in yourself. Stay focused, man. Stay true to your purpose. And I ended with that.